Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday Rewards Day. I wanna talk about everything related to rewards today, what's gonna to happen on the market, what kind of price fluctuations we could have, and of course, what content we can see today as well on a Thursday in FIFA Ultimate Team with the Bernardo Silva SBC or ISCO, whoever you think is gonna win. I personally think it's gonna be Bernardo. We'll talk about market movements associated with that. And technically, this is the first set of Week in League Rewards where batch two cards are in packs. The last two weeks has been batch one. These cards came out on Friday of last week. This is the first set of rewards with foot birthdays, team of the um, team of the year nominees, team of the knockout stage, road to the finals, and FFS cards, future stars, are all in tradable packs this week uh, and untradable packs. They're, they're just able to be packed this week from rewards. So I just want to talk about a few of those things. And of course, this is probably going to go live a few hours before the rewards actually come out. So we'll talk about some possible investments you might be able to make last minute as well, depending on your coin amount and stuff that you could do with that. But we also want to talk about the content that came yesterday. Just really quickly, I want to brief over this. This is another insane thing that EA did today. A dynamic dual SBC releasing two juiced up insane cards that get a green link together all of you liverpool fans it was obviously the best day on fifa ultimate team for you guys like ever getting a genie wine and the origi card that you guys have wanted for so freaking long or uh of course commemorating that champions league final uh goal scored against spurs my team uh, i will not be completing origi uh because he will never see the light of day in my club no offense uh, but Wijnaldum looks absolutely insane. This level of card with these stats with two 83 rated squads is pretty crazy. Uh, do I expect these SBCs to go and get a little bit cheaper today during rewards? 1000% because what's going to happen today during rewards is you're finally going to get some supply for the 81 to 84 rated market because right now with all of the upgrade SBCs that are out in game, none of these upgrade SBCs are giving out 83s, 81s, 82s, or 83s. It's all 85 and above or 84 and above if you're hitting the 84 double plus or the 85 to 92. So that 81 and to 83 range that is used for SBC fodder a lot right now because we have a lot of 83 rated squads, 84 rated squads. Those cards are insanely high in price. I do think you're going to see these guys drop down today during week and league rewards. And I would say if you're looking to do either of these SBCs or anything in the game that is an 83 rated squad, I would honestly hold off on that a little bit because I think you'll see these prices go down during rewards with the tradable pack supply coming in today on the market. Just something to think about if you're an SBC grinder uh, or you're waiting to do any of these Divac, Origi, Wijnaldum, maybe even Vinicius or Usman. If you're waiting to do any of those, I'd say wait a little bit longer, at least till after rewards. I do think you'll see fodder take a hit actually across the board. I feel like you'll take a lot of, see a lot of this 85 and 86, 87 rated fodder take a hit as well because what's going to happen is uh, these cards are all going to be packed from rewards today. Man of the match cards, road to the finals, Tadic, you know, some of these informs that are in packs right now, Scream Gamero, one of the cheapest 86s, uh, even some of the higher tier cards, right? A lot of these cards get supplied every week on Thursday because of uh, weekend league rewards and the tradable packs for the elite three plus the elite pack or the uh, above that basically pack that has been replaced that has replaced the team of the week pack has all 90 rated players in it so of course your guys like Handanovic, Cruz, Saul you're going to see some of those packed today and a lot of these other tots cards as well that are like in the 90 to 94 range you'll see some supply on those could those go up later? Yes, there's a possibility they would go up if they somehow uh, juice up a crazy Bernardo Silva card today. If he does win the vote or Isco, and they maybe require an 88 rated squad, then possibly you would see them. Uh, some of these higher rated cards, maybe like the 90s and the 91s, 92s go up a little bit in price. But I would say that's, I don't think that'd be super duper likely. Uh, because I feel like the Bernardo Silva SBC should be somewhere around like 200 to 300k. And I don't know if you would need an 88 rated squad if it's only in that price range. Because I think the Icon, which is an 88 rated squad with a TOTS card, the Icon upgrades 250. And that's just an 88 rated squad with a TOTS. So um, I feel like if Bernardo Silva is 250, 300, 350,000 coins, they wouldn't require an 88 rated SBC. I feel like they would split it up into maybe three SBCs instead of just like one. So we will see what happens today with that. Uh, but again, there could be some interesting market movements with... 
um, the new cards that are in packs. And again, this is why I told you guys, even if you haven't sold some of your foot birthdays already, a lot of these cards, I know they're very meta, I know they are very good, but a lot of these guys are probably going to drop, especially since we have a lot of these dudes that are 90 rated. And you know what that means? They are available in player picks and they're also available in the tradable elite packs. So they're not just available in packs, they're going to get double supply today because they're in weekend league rewards as well. Hazard, Griezmann, Mbappe. And Mbappe is going to be very interesting to watch today. 4.62 mil. He dropped like 100,000 coins today. This would be the type of card that I would honestly expect to take a drop right at the beginning of weekend league rewards. He's 4.62 right now. He was 4.6 flat earlier today. 3.6. 5 on the Xbox. This might be the type of card that's going to pop from a decent amount of elite rewards today. Top 100 rewards. You might see this guy popping a, a couple times, maybe um, out of some tradable packs as well. I would expect this guy to drop down in price, maybe 100, 200,000 coins for the first hour or two, maybe three of rewards, and then probably start to go back up because this card is so meta, so end game. So many people use this card it is going to have to rebound in my opinion. Uh, I can see this guy being closer to like 4.8, 4.9, maybe later this weekend. So if you want to use him this weekend league, I would try to snag him either tonight, right before rewards, if you're not going to be awake for rewards themselves, or during the first two hour or two of rewards, because this guy is going to kind of shoot up after that. I feel the same way, maybe about a guy like, like Griezmann, uh, he might be meta enough to bounce like that. Now, St. Maximin is somebody that I specifically want to talk about because this card could have a little bit of a roller coaster ride today in FIFA Ultimate Team. He's probably going to get supplied to rewards. I guarantee you he goes under 700,000 coins and then shoots up after that because people are going to buy this card to put in their teams. A lot of French links ha happening lately, um, and especially with the new Premier League links as well. This is the meta guy that everybody wants to go to. But with Bernardo Silva coming out at 6 p.m. UK, if he does end up winning the SBC vote, this guy would take a crash in price, I would imagine, because Bernardo Silva, again, probably in the 250 to 350K price range, which is half of this. And Bernardo Silva, uh, if you would compare, let's just do this really fast, because this is what people do when they want to try out a card and, and, you know, is it worth it? If you compare these two cards and think about David Silva, or sorry, Bernardo Silva, not David Silva. If you think about Bernardo Silva getting a plus three or a plus four rating boost, so a 94 or a 95, Bernardo Silva, right wing in the Prem, probably gonna have upwards of like 95 pace, 94 pace, 90 plus shooting, like 93, 94 passing, maxed out dribbling, maybe almost 80 physical if they give him a big boost, and a five star weak foot as well. He's gonna be five star weak foot, four star skill moves, which has been. The weak foot's been a killer for this card, but it's so good. This guy's very, very good in game. I feel like there's a be a, there will be a lot of people that would sell the St. Maximin to go get this Bernardo Silva as it could be available as an SBC for a lot cheaper of a price. So St. Maximin's price today, in my opinion, he's going to shoot up after rewards are out for a couple hours, but before 6 p.m. UK. And then if Bernardo Silva does win, he's going to come back down over the weekend and especially have a lot of panic selling like right away around that 6 p.m. time frame. A lot of the other foot birthday cards, like a Sissoko, uh, like Lozano, you know, some of these guys, like birthday Cancelo. Cancelo could see a bit of a bump tomorrow, you know, at 6 p.m. UK. If um, Bernardo Silva does win, that could be interesting. But a lot of these cards probably just trickle downwards in price tomorrow, except for the really, really meta ones. You know, Lacazette's kind of interesting to me. That price for that kind of card, that's getting pretty spicy. Um, Gareth Bale, again, with a lot of Real Madrid links right now out in this game with all the SBCs we've gotten with Vinicius Jr., you know, with the Mendy car that is out and all the Real Madrid possible links. If Isco would get a card today and win the vote, this would be a card I would expect to go up in price. But a lot of these foot birthdays are probably going to go down, maybe rebound a little bit. But some of the ones that aren't as usable are probably just going to trickle down and keep kind of going down in price because, again, they're just getting supplied so much today during weekend league rewards. Same with uh, FFS cards, Road to the Finals, uh, and those cards that are in packs right now. Can you actually buy shapeshifters and stuff? Let's transition into talking about this a little bit. Can you actually invest in some of these cards to make profit since they're out of packs? Pick your cards very carefully. Ben Yetter, to me, is somebody who I have a couple of these on my trance list right now. 398, man. This guy's kind of low. Dang, bro. I'm a little bit scared because this guy was in packs for, just in packs for two weeks. Um, but I've got like five of these guys on my transfer list, right around 400,000 coins, which where he has been. 
because there's a lack of right wings in this uh, game. So I'm going to be selling these before the SBC at 6 p.m. with the possible Bernardo Silva coming out because that would be another right wing that people would maybe sell this card to go and get. Um, but I think, you know, some of the shapeshifters could bounce today. Maybe Marcelo, um, only if Isco doesn't win. You know, maybe Messi could go up with all the Barca links with, with Dembouz, Dembele. Um, you know, possibly Lucas, right? One of the most OP, like, budget cards. A lot of people are broke right now in FIFA as well because all of these SBCs are coming out. They're doing all of these cards, and they have to find a few pieces to fit in their team, and they can't spend a lot of coins on those pieces because they're just flat broke, honestly. So, you know, Conte has held his price very well since he's gone out of packs. He could be a card that rebounds a bit today. Possibly Ronaldo, possibly Vinicius a little bit, possibly Richarlison. Maybe even a striker, Ribéry, but the, the, his SBC is still around, I think. Um, but if you're looking to buy some stuff right before awards today, honestly, what I would look at, and think of it this way, um, what cards do we not have Summer Heat um, SBCs or that many objectives per position, right? Think about all the cards we've got. A lot of center attacking mids, a lot of midfielders, a, a good chunk of center backs, right? We got our first goalkeeper this week with Nick Pope and our first right back with Mbabu. And these guys, yes, they do um, they do have insanely juiced cards, but think about it. If you're using a La Liga team, so many people use Ramos, Varane, um, you know, maybe the Militao, of course, the Militao SBC or some like uh, Sar, Kempembe. A lot of people are using those center backs right now in foot. These guys don't really link to any of those at this time. Uh, these Bundesliga links, especially with Mbappé, it's really hard to get links to him. Pope is not super duper hard if you would use Van Dyke. You know, you could just run him on 7 chem. But what happened with Pope and with Lala, or excuse me, with uh, Mbappé, is some of the right backs and some of the goalkeepers, goalkeepers especially, dropped this week on the market. And of course, this is the best French right back in the game. And there's not, no card really that has crashed him. I got one at 450 today on a snipe. That was really nice. Just kind of comparing price. And I got a, a nice snipe there. But honestly, what I've been looking at, Carvajal is, is a big one for me this weekend too. I'll show you what I have in my transfer list. And I'll talk you through what I'm thinking about for stuff that could arise this week with rewards. I bought myself some French links with Lala and with Awar. I just bought one Awar, one Lala. And I bought myself some Carvajals, man. I, bu I bought some Carvajals right around the 180,000 coin range um, because this is my thinking, right? People are still using Ramos, Militao, and Varane. Are they going to use Mbabu? You know, not with those center backs, especially with the Dembele hype that is out right now. And it, again, if Isco would win the Vinicius Jr. hype that is out, a lot of people have Real Madrid cards in their team. So... I feel like people won't be using that Ababu as much in Weekend League this weekend or the Nick Pope. They're going to kind of resort back to their normal back line. So I got Allison as well. I mean, a lot of these goalkeepers, if you look at their prices this week, Ter Stegen is another great one. I'm, I'm trying to find a deal on a Ter Stegen right now because this guy was like 240,000 coins or 230,000 coins last week. Um, and right now, I'm pretty sure if I'm correct, he's like 190, 180. So I'm really trying to find me a team of the season Ter Stegen card in like the low 190s, which where he has been today, but he's kind of up a little bit right now. So all I would say is look at some of these goalkeepers, icon goalkeepers as well. If you look at the the, the mad drops in price they've had this week because of Pope, um, I feel like there's some rebound potential on some of these cards. Um, I've got some of them on my transfer targets, and I just want to show you one of these prices before we go and look at a couple of graphs to show you how cheap they've gotten on the market. Yashin, 94 Yashin, the hat, right? This guy was like 450,000 coins last week. Now he's back to 370. Look at Ter Stegen over here on Footbin. This guy last week was 240,000 coins, uh, literally a week ago on Wednesday, Thursday with rewards. 240,000 coins. He's been falling all week because of the Nick Pope objective. I feel like there's going to be some rebound on cards like this. Let's look at Prime Yashin, the hat. A FIFA fan favorite goalkeeper, 395k. He's actually up a bit. Uh, you can tell he was 400. He was 450,000 coins on Friday last week. This entire week he's been in the 380s. Uh, does he go up to 450 this week? I don't think so. But you know, three, 375, 380, all the way up to like 430 or 440, maybe if he gets that high at some point this weekend. I think it's very possible. Another sleeper on a lower budget. If you only got like 100,000 coins and you want to try to flip somebody this week, look at this Schmeichel card. Look at this guy. 
Last week, he was 170,000 coins, 189 on the Xbox. This week, he's in the 100 teens on both consoles, down 70K almost from the weekend. I was trying to find this guy in like the 100 and uh, under 110 range. I missed one here for 109 that I probably should have bought because I was getting greedy and waiting for an undercut. And now he's back to like 130. So I kind of missed the boat on that one. But I kind of like these goalkeepers. I really do. The meta goalkeepers that link up to a lot of the center backs that people use in this game. Um, I don't think that Nick Pope is really going to make it into a lot of people starting squads. And we haven't had a lot of summer heat players in the goalkeeper position except for Pope. So I really think goalkeepers could be a move today. All other icons as well. If it's a meta icon, you saw I had a baby Blanc. Again, the, the French links right now are unparalleled with all of the cards that we're getting. So I do like French icons, maybe some Dutch icons because of the Wijnaldum today. I think a lot of people are going to try to fit Wijnaldum in their teams. Um, icon center backs as well are, are still cards that I think are, are going to go up um, on the weekends. Like this, this Prime Blanc is one that I've had my eye on for a while. He dropped a lot when Sar and Kempembe came out. Desai has dropped down a decent amount. Um, who else have I had on my radar? Uh, oh, right backs. Again, let me talk about Carvajal. Hall. Again, we've had Mbabu, right? But this Carvajal Hall guy has been like 200k all week. Today, when the um, when the two new SBCs came out with Origi and with Wijnaldum, this guy dropped down to like 180,000 coins, which it looks like he's kind of rebounded back up closer to 200k. Uh, I know this guy was in Ultimate Tots, so he has a lot of supply. Whoa, he's bouncing back up. Okay. Okay, 200,000 coins flat for Carvajal. We'd love to see it. So this guy's already up like 15K from where I bought him at today. Uh, and that's a W because we have 10,000 coins of tax. So that, mean, that means we're in the profit zone already with this card. I would expect a guy like this to maybe dip a little bit at Weekend League Rewards. This happens every week with the Tots cards. Lala, this is actually a decent tip. Lala actually gets packed a decent amount from Elite Rewards. So watch this card maybe dipping 25, 30,000 coins at Rewards. If you see him under 470, 460 on the PlayStation, and if you see him drop 30 to 40K on the Xbox, this would be a card that I would go and pick up uh, be as, as a link investment, right? Even though if Bernardo Silva is coming, I still feel like this would be the type of card that would go up today. Unless EA would release a right back today as an SBC or another objective, that would be the only thing that would hurt the price of some of these cards that I'm talking about investing in uh, today. So again, watch your center backs, icons. You know, some of these Tots cards that link to, to Dembele have already risen a decent amount. De Young was like 560, 570 on Sunday, and now he's up to like 620,000 coins. So he's already up in price. What's Benzema? Benzema's 500K, so he's up like 40, 50,000 coins. What's Suarez? Suarez wasn't rising as fast as some of the other ones. Uh, Suarez is about 700K, so maybe he's up a little bit as well from where he was at because he was like 670 on Sunday. Um, and yeah, just watch some of these icon cards because people, when, ha when they have all these different cards, right, they have to try to link them somehow. Ferdinand could do pretty well this week. Uh, I've been trying to stag one at like 570. Obviously, they don't have the coins now, but... Uh, he could go up this week with the links to uh, to Pope, actually. You know, check like Soul Campbell as well. This could be a card you could look into uh, this week on the market as a possible flip investment. The baby Soul Campbell still has a lot of supply, or excuse me, a lot of demand as a 85 rated. I think it's the quickest version of Soul Campbell in this game, if I'm not mistaken. I don't even think the Prime Moments has as much pace. 85? 85. So the prime moments has the same amount of pace as the baby with just better defending stats. So that's why a lot of people run baby Soul Campbell still uh, in this game. So maybe you watch out for some English links, center backs like Soul Campbell and Rio Ferdinand could see a, a bump today uh, in price as well. But again, just be very careful with stuff. A lot of stuff, honestly, that, that is below 90 rated is the way to go unless it's uh, a very a very meta card that is over 90 rated because a guy like say maximum is not going to get packed and have extra tradable supply from the team of the week packs and that is that's actually a, a big point that's actually a very very big point so you know again looking back at some of these shapeshifter cards that are below uh 90 rated that still could do pretty good at rewards today again i really like this lucas card i i don't really follow his price that much i did before but this might be a decent budget investment um it says, Flippin says that he is, got to get used to these new filters, man. Oh my goodness. You're going to reset the entire filter on me, EA Sports. Let me look at Lucas Mora for 50,000 coins, right? And I'll put this to 30K. And 
and oh wait dude i can go look for, oh yo i'm an absolute beast yo i gotta figure out these filters man shapeshifters lucas mora yes there we go i can use the filters i don't have to do these it's gonna take me a bit to get used to that man anyways lucas mora is forty-five thousand coins i might have to take a look at this graph and, and really see if he's gonna fluctuate but this guy's not in packs today one of the most used players on fifa ultimate team um with games played in the premier league if you go and look at these stats on footbin this guy's used a ton so this could be a guy that kind of rebounds today as well just a very cheap very linkable card of course could get hurt by the bernardo silva spc but that's just throwing out some ideas for you guys there again this is full disclosure my list of cards i'm trying to flip this week i got a lot of right wings in here that i bought before bernardo silva got the vote uh so i'll probably be trying to ship those out before 6 p.m uk today and then the rest of these cards i'm not going to be in a hurry to sell I'm not going to be in a hurry to sell like any of these guys um, until uh, like Friday, honestly, until Friday, Thursday night into Friday is when I'll probably look to sell some of these dudes and then watch for some panic today with Bernardo Silva coming out on right mids, right wings across the game. There could be some panic there depending on the upgrade and how good that SPC is and what other content they decide to drop today on FIFA Ultimate Team. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and of course, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.